Hello everyone, my name is Ken Abe and welcome back to another video game review. I've not done one of these in quite a while, but now that it's 2017 and the first official game that I wanted to get and play and review has come out, so today is the day. So yesterday, Sniper Elite 4 came out. Now, I haven't actually played any of the previous Sniper Elites. I think I got Sniper Elite 3, and I played it for a little bit, and I couldn't really get into it. But what they've done with Sniper Elite 4 is pretty much make it into an open world and fully customizable missions and full-on gameplay. So I'm always down for open world games, as you guys would probably know. So this game is set in World War Two, which is also, which is always a really good era to set games in, especially with all the new high tech futuristic games that are coming out, i.e. Infinity Warfare. So basically, it's set in Italy in 1943, with the reign of the Führer himself and the Third Reich and all that sort of jazz with Hitler and all the Nazis. So a big part of the Sniper Elite game series is the X-ray vision when you kill or shoot someone. Now, basically, when you fire a sniper rifle bullet at a target from a fair way away, the camera actually changes to you watching the bullet travel through and eventually hit your designated target with a sort of like a Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat X-ray vision type thing. And to be honest, this is pretty fucking awesome because just the whole detail and it shows you wherever you shoot, like you could shoot down near the heart and you'd get a heart shot, which is, I think, a little bit like deranged to do that. And you get a liver shot and obviously hit them in the balls. You get a testicle shot, which is pretty hilarious. And obviously, like when you hit him in the head or in the brain or the eye or stuff like that. So just to watch that is pretty intense, but... I kind of think it's a little bit deranged to do something like that. Sort of like when you hit different parts of the body, you get a higher score for, say, hitting the heart over hitting the balls or leg or something like that. So it's it's a little bit fucked up, but it's still a pretty cool concept to do. So I talked about this before, but the general layout of this game is obviously in Italy in the 1940s. But I really enjoyed the feel of the old fashion era especially with the sniper rifle i know it's a little bit of a pain because they're they're not sort of silenced sniper rifles at the moment the only silenced weapon i have is just my handgun which is a little bit restricting but i have found that in other games when you shoot an unsilenced weapon you get pretty penalized and buddy everyone come out of nowhere and start killing you but in Sniper Elite, it's a lot more forgiving when you use a unsilenced sniper rifle, which I think is good and bad. It's good that it's sort of, you're not worried that if you shoot someone, everyone's going to hear it and they're going to come over and kill you instantly. But I reckon the challenge has gone because I'm so used to using a sniped, like a, a silenced sniper rifle. I think you probably will get a silenced sniper rifle later on in the game. But at the moment, I it is a good it it has a real it has a real feeling to it, because obviously in the forties it's going to be very hard for them to have sniped we like silenced weapons. So the authenticity has really been kept with this game, which is which is good. So as I said before, this game is set in Italy in the nineteen forties. So, the overall layout of this game is incredibly gorgeous. The graphics are absolutely outstanding. And this is just a very, a very pretty game. It's very well designed and attention to detail is incredibly good. Another thing I wanted to point out was that the AI in this game is very advanced. So, in other games, when you did something wrong and you sort of walked away or sort of disappeared... The enemies wouldn't really do much about it. They'd just sort of go back to what the, whatever they were doing. But in Sniper Elite 4, the enemies have become a lot more interactive and a lot more active, if to say the least. So this sort of gives another a layer of AI that's advanced and just 
very well maintained and they sort of think for themselves almost and they're not just sort of stock standard enemies that go through their same path or do something like that they're really thinking for themselves and they move off if they hear anything and they go and investigate they don't sort of just investigate for three seconds and then think it was nothing and just go back to whatever they're doing so that's another level of AI that's added into this game that I really enjoy and appreciate. So overall I am giving Sniper Elite 4 an 8 out of 10. It is a very solid game and if you enjoy being a sniper I would definitely recommend you going out and getting this game. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy this review. I'm glad to be back doing reviews. I do enjoy doing them. I have a couple of games in the pipeline that are coming out shortly which I will definitely be re reviewing. And also, I'll be making my reviews a little, a little bit longer, obviously, as you can tell by this one. I'm starting to see that making longer reviews, especially with tech, is a lot more beneficial because I can talk a lot more and I'm not sort of restrained with time, like the time limit of videos. I can, I don't know why I was doing little videos. I feel like doing a longer video would be a lot more beneficial to me because I can get a lot more information out to you guys and I can go a lot more in depth into my reviews themselves. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If I'm new to you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.